Hi everyone, Justin here from Tame Type 1. Today we're going to go over a very important question. Let's say you're doing MDI, multiple daily injections. What is the best way to get those injections? Is it better to use an insulin pen? Or is it better to use vials and syringes? New school versus old school. Today we're going to hopefully put a finish to this debate. I'm going to go over some pros and cons of both of these. And hopefully that'll help you decide if you rather deal with insulin pens or um, basic syringes and vials. First off, let me clarify. By pens, I mean the big highlighter sized kind of sticks that have 3 milliliters of insulin typically filled in them that you can use many, many, many times in a row. And by syringes and vials, I mean getting those cheap syringes with the orange caps and using vials of insulin to fill those up instead of having a pre-filled pen. These are your two basic options when you go multiple daily injections. Now, while pens are newer, both actually have their upsides and downsides, and you might actually prefer using syringes over the pens. You might prefer using pens over syringes. And today, I'm going to give reasons for both sides to help you clarify the decision. Let's start with convenience. Obviously, in many ways, pens are more convenient. That's why they're the new thing. That's why everyone uses them. And often when you go to the pharmacy, especially for newer insulins, you're going to automatically get those in pens rather than in a vial. They're convenient in that all you have to do when you pull out, you want to use it, you might need to screw a needle on there. You just dial the notches back to the units you want, push it in, and you're done. It's very simple, very easy to use. Not much step required for pens at all. On the other hand, syringes, you have to actually stick it in the vial, fill it up, maybe push it back in to get any bubbles out, fill it up again, and you have to go through a bit of a process before you actually have the amount of insulin you need in the syringe ready to go. So it takes a bit more time to set up, and it also means you have to carry more around. With the pen, all you gotta carry around is the pen, and maybe an, an extra needle or two in case you need it. But with syringes, you're going to need to carry multiple syringes around because they're meant to be for one-time use. You might have to carry multiple vials around, and those vials can break if they're dropped, and that can be a huge issue. And in general, they're just less convenient on the go. So on convenience, I'd say that goes to pens. They're definitely more convenient on the go and setting up. That said, when it comes to the actual injection, I want to give it to the syringe. Why? Well, when you're using a pen, especially when you're taking a small amount of insulin, maybe just one or two units, which is typical for me, unless I'm taking my basal, you're taking just a small amount of insulin with a pen, it takes a lot longer for that insulin to get all the way out. I'm sitting there with my pen on my stomach for at least 15 seconds, waiting for the insulin to get out because of the difference in the pressure, it just isn't good enough to squeeze it all out really fast. Whereas with syringes, you take out exactly as much insulin as you're taking for just that one dose. It's all in the syringe. You pluck it in, push, pull it out, done. Doesn't even take a second to inject with the syringe. And that means less scarring. That means if you're in public, you can be a little sneakier with it. You can just pull it out, done, no one even notice. And it's just a lot less burdensome than having to wait there awkwardly with a needle sticking in you for 10 to 15 seconds. And because of the fact that it takes a while for the insulin to get out, sometimes pens end up less consistent. If you pull it out too early, then you're going to have insulin droplets coming out of the end of it, and that means A, you're wasting insulin, which is not good, and B, you're not getting the full dose that you accounted for. Whereas with syringes, you're getting every single bit of insulin in that syringe every time 100%, no matter what. So in that sense, it's less consistent. And if you know my emphasis on consistency, if you've watched Three Keys to Diabetes, for example, I'm very much promoting consistency. It's so important for managing diabetes. So when it comes to injections, syringes are more consistent and they're much easier and quicker to inject, much less painless. So for injections, point goes to syringes. Now, how about waste? Waste is a big one, right? I try to be more zero waste with my stuff. I try to have as little trash as possible. You know, it's better for the environment, better for my wallet to boot when you don't waste. And pens are very good for zero waste. They can be used again and again and again and again until there's no more insulin in them. 
Bonus, if you get a refillable pen, you can use that pen again and again and again, practically forever. That's great. Now, as far as needles go, you're not supposed to use the needles more once, but I mean, most people do. And so you're going to be less wasteful on those as well. Whereas with syringes, they're meant to be one use only. So you're going to be throwing away a lot more syringes and buying a lot more syringes too. That said, you can reuse syringes a little bit, although I don't recommend it. And if you do try to reuse syringes, you risk making the insulin in the vial go bad. And then you have a, another even bigger issue because you're going to, have to get more insulin. That's no good. So as far as waste goes, point to pens. Now, what about cost? Cost is one of the biggest factors here, especially when you're doing with MDI. Typically, you, you're on MDI. Maybe it's just better for you or maybe in a lot of cases, it's cheaper. MDI is cheaper than using a pump. But what is cheaper between pen and syringes? Pens are cheaper as far as waste goes, you're buying less needles, but the pens themselves can be rather expensive, especially if you're trying to find a refillable one. And not only that, but the amount of insulin you get in a pen versus in a vial is different. In a vial you get 10 milliliters, in a pen you get 3. So you actually end up getting a bit more bang for your buck in the vial compared to in the pen. In that sense, Insulin is cheaper when you get in the vial than in the pen. You get more bang for your buck, you're getting more insulin for your money. That said, you only get that value-added benefit if you actually use up all that insulin. If you're like me and you just simply don't go through enough insulin to get through it all before it goes bad, to get through an entire 10 milliliter vial compared to 3 milliliter pens, then that value goes out the window because you're going to end up having to throw that insulin out before you use all of it. So, it's a little mixed when it comes to cost. Certainly, you have to buy more syringes than you do pens, but syringes are pretty cheap anyway. So if you end up using most of that insulin, that's no big deal. You're actually saving money with syringes, but if you're throwing it away, you might not be saving money. So with cost, it varies. That's a tie between pens and syringes. So, reviewing, my personal opinion is that on convenience, pens get the win on injections, syringes get the win, on waste, pens get the win, and on cost, it varies. Now, what I choose personally just depends on the situation. For basil, I use a pen because that's what my Traceba comes in, and plus I use a big enough dose, 12 units in one dose, to get good use of that pen. Another problem with pens that I didn't mention is that Pens only have full units, for the most part. There are a few refillable pens you can get for both Novolog and Lily that have half unit increments. But, for the most part, pens only have full units. And that can be a real issue for someone like me who likes to really hone down on just the right dose, and sometimes that's with half units. Alternatively, you could get half units on pens by simply diluting your insulin 2 to 1, that way a, a full unit ends up being a half unit, but it's still rather inconvenient than just using a syringe and getting exactly as much as you want. So for basil, since I'm taking a large enough dose to not have to worry too much about those little insulin droplets at the end, I can do that with a pen just fine. But for my meals, I actually prefer using syringes. And not just because our insulin comes in a vial, but also because I can really hone down on exactly the right dose I want with our insulin, with a syringe, than I'd be able to with a pen. And I'm not worried about inconsistency because I know I'm getting exactly the amount I'm measuring for every time there's no insulin dropping off at the end after I use a syringe. So I prefer using syringes for our insulin for my bolus. And I would like to use it for corrections too because my corrections are pretty small as well. One to two units each time. But I have a pen for that, so I make do with it. What you end up using is entirely up to you. It's entirely up to your preference and how much insulin you use per meal for whatever uses you need it for. They both have their ups and downs. Hope that helps you out in figuring out if you want to use pens or syringes. Hit me up next time. We're also going to go over pens versus MDI. And I even have a bit about CGMs coming up as well. Stay tuned for more. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Like the video, like the page, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.